thank you all for coming over to help us find the best candidate for me. This room is so diverse, so I'm assuming many of you have. As a descendant of Quahog's Puritan forefathers, I think we should be able to throw a woman into a pond to see if she's a witch. That's exactly what a witch would say. Form a Batman and move on. I'm sure Val Kilmer could use the insurance. That has been pitched every day since Adam West died, and the response has been tepid at best. If you're looking for someone with issues, I think you've found your candidate. <laughs> <laughs> but Mom said if I was quiet, I could listen from the top of the stairs. So all in favor of the librarian running for mayor, say aye. 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 What about Alf? I'm sorry, I don't even know your name. L. L. Hitler. <laughs> no relation. Let's all say hi to L. Hitler. Hi, hi L. Hitler. Hitler. Yay! I can't believe Lois wants the librarian to be mayor. Mayor West was a legend, and now they're gonna replace him with some third-tier character with a joke name? I said that's Chinatown. It's from the movie Chinatown. It means, like, what are you gonna do? Yo, did you finally get Netflix? I did. I just watched Chinatown. But there's no one cooler than Adam West. If only he had had an offspring. Guys, that movie really messed me up. Wait a second. Mayor West didn't have any kids, but he did have a cousin. Wild West. No, and please don't diminish us for not knowing the same things you know. You know how to land an airplane? No, you don't, asswipe. I'm sorry, I see you, Quagmire, I do. Boy, and a spokesman for everything manly. Look! And at the end of the day, you're more than tired. Nothing satisfies more than beef. Nicotine and meat! Beef cigarettes, now with less hooves and snout. I don't... Does he make exceptions in cases of incest? Because I've seen some things recently that make me think he probably should. came at the perfect time. That was beautiful. If you think the birth is beautiful, you should see the conception. Hmm, Jasmine Oolong. Quahog, Rhode Island, where your cousin Adam West was our mayor for many years, and since he's gone to a better place... Duluth, the air moves in your nostrils like a welcome guest. God, that's awesome. Anyway, I thought you would be the perfect person to take his place as our mayor. Peter? Have you ever killed a man? Reddit says I've killed 39, but that seems low. Why do you ask? Just making conversation. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but Quahog needs you. So what do you say? Will you be our mayor? Can I tell you a secret, Peter? I can levitate. No way! Can you show me? No, but it's true. I appreciate you coming all this way, Peter, but I can't be your mayor. But Wild West, we need you! <laughs> I'm sorry. You get home safe now. Yeah! Thank you for coming out to celebrate a new day in Koha. Incredibly qualified candidate. Stranger coming! Stranger coming! He came! My name is Wild West, and I'm here to throw my hat in the ring to be your next mayor. Yeah! And I want to say one more thing. I can levitate. That seems like something he should have to prove when, when he, he says, says it. it. That's, that's what I say. Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? You don't know anything about politics. What, you don't know anything about... Besides, Wild West would make a great mayor. He's a man. What does that have to do with anything? And don't say the economy or Iraq or income inequality or racism or Brett Kavanaugh or phobia or Monica Lewinsky or school shootings or Native American genocide or Fox News or Tim Allen or climate change. But off to make sure the librarian becomes our next mayor. I've already made my first campaign poster. I always start too big. Afternoon, citizen. My name's Wild West, and I'm running for mayor. If you don't mind, I'd like to roll up your garden hose for you the right way. Oh, okay. You see, Bruce, every hose has memory. I do see that kink. Well, a hose is very desirous of its original shape. Oh, merciful heavens. I'm very experienced at taking poles. She also has a mustache. I can see that. Nice to meet you, Meg. Wow. Would you record my outgoing voicemail message? No, I'd be happy to. If you're looking for something rugged, something durable, something with an endless supply of gas and a tailgate made for dumping, kindly leave your go-by and Roman numerics at the sound of the chow bell. I don't even know why you're bothering to take me to meet Wild West. I will never change my mind about That's all I ask. Afternoon, Griffins. Glad you could make it. Can I can I go play with the barn mustaches? Of course you can. Yeah. 
<laughs> I just don't think it's fair for you to breeze into town with your rugged good look. That's a fair point, Lois. Do you mind if I make you a sweater while I respond? <laughs> no. No, that would be fine. I moved my whole family to Oregon when I was 13. You don't choose it. It chooses you. There's nothing I respect more than women. <laughs> I've raised 16 daughters into strong, independent women. Oh, my God. So, you're all alone, Touch? Yes, sweaty bicep? A man's never alone, Lois, so long as he has his principles. <laughs> ah! Oh, he bit me! I don't like it now. Peter, do you want to maybe do some role play? I'll be Quentin Tarantino, and you'll be the foot I make a mess on. Oh, Lois. Uh, make your voice deeper. Oh, Lois. Deeper. Oh, Lois. Good. Now say... Beef. Oh, yes. It's what's for dinner. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, wild... wild. Peter, what the hell are you wearing? I went a different direction cowboy-wise, but don't change the subject. <laughs> Peter, what are you doing? I've decided that Wild West is the worst possible person to be mayor. I'm sorry, Peter. It just slipped out. Well, I'm sorry I'm the length of a Mike and Ike. In your dreams. That one stung, Lois. Oh, that one stung. And if you're going to beat Wild West, you have to recognize that one of his greatest strengths is his voice. Where your voice sounds like your dad's second wife trying to describe something she saw on Facebook. And it's pronounced Mimi. Well, the other day, tangled in a ball of yarn. <laughs> Okay, that was unexpected, so I'm going to ignore it and bring in Morgan Freeman, who I've hired to narrate your commercials. Wild West claims to know what's best for Quahog, but there's a better choice. I relied on my advisors, and they let me down. I thought I'd get to act with a talking teddy bear, but or maybe that was Amanda Seyfried. I don't know. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. The issues they're concerned about. Come on, you can drive. Big Garfield fan, huh? Me too. <laughs> Okay, you reeled me back in. Let's see how popular you are when I cut off your mustache. So oh, strong! My hair follicles run deeper than the roots of a sequoia. Nice work. Thanks, boss. Can somebody help me? Don't panic, the librarian. Oh! I'm a coming. Destroy you.